Hello, my name is Roland Jung from Implant Canada. Today I want to talk about the fabrication, so who we actually serve with Implant. And I want to talk about the benefits of the routing of the wires in today's manufacturing process. But before we do so, let's see what Implant is often recognized for. You know Implant for its capabilities to create schematics. You may know ePlan also for its capabilities of creating very nice 3D digital twin. And from here, we can service right away the RAC Retail Application Center with a direct export to the machining like a Perforex machine. So they can actually pre-drill the wires. We also may know ePlan for its fluid capabilities. We have hydraulics and fluid diagrams that can be done with the fluid add-on. We may also know it for the PIDs that we can do. So there are a couple of things we can do with ePlan. But today I want to focus on something special. It's the smart production here. The smart production is actually, and let's talk about this a little bit more in detail. Let's understand the fabrication and manufacturing of most of our panels. As you know, in all industries, at one point in time, you have to protect your controls, uh, your PLCs, your disconnects, your motor overloads, all the uh, equipment has to be protected from the outside yeah. environment. So here, when we look at this, we have uh, taken a snapshot at a certain uh, panel build, and we can see, you know, there is, when we look at it, a couple of different steps. It's primarily a mechanical assembly up front, and then the wiring that has been and can be done in, in, in nowadays only after the wiring is actually or after the assembly is, is completed. So 49% uh, of the time is spent in wiring. So my question here, and this is how we optimize most processes, is to focus on where we spend most of our time. So technically, here, let's talk about it. We first assemble the uh, components onto a panel. And once these are done, then we can do the wiring. This is how we do things today. Now, knowing that 50%, 49% of the time is spent on that last step, and that step cannot be started earlier because we have to wait for the components to be placed and positioned to actually move forward. Now, this is where the smart wiring concept comes into play. So I'm rethinking a little bit. Would it be interesting if we could start up front? So that means fabricate the wires eventually up front and then do the wiring. So basically what I'm doing is I'm looking at the wiring step and I'm splitting it up. So what I think of doing is maybe prefabricate the wires up front, have them and give them all the time they want to do the labels, to deliver the parts, and to do the assembly of the docks and the rails and the components. And then I jump in with just the wire landing. Okay, so this is, if I take a look at this smart wiring, the smart wiring, essentially what it is, it's taking the information from ePlan. ePlan does all the routing. So routing means wires, are with a source and a target defined to actually cope with a certain length uh, through different routes. And this is then translated onto something I can open with Microsoft Edge. So here, the smart production, when I start it, looks like this. And I can actually take a look at an existing project. Let's take a project like this one here, uh, 006 build 2, and let's open it. So it has three different uh, informations. Number one information is the information about the rails and the docks. So here we can see in the back, you can see there is a, a panel there. This panel has already been assembled to a certain degree. So you can see all the docks and rails are assembled. This is cool. Now let's take a look at the components. The components, if we actually do a small filter here to actually check out which ones are not yet installed, not installed, you carefully can see it is true. The X1, X2 are actually placed in the wrong position there. So I have to move them up. 
and then these motor overloads here, the MOL, this one here, and this one, they are not actually there, they're missing. And what is missing too is actually here a circuit breaker I don't have yet. Does this stop me from fabricating the wires? No, because I can, inside here, actually look up every single wire. I can see the wire length and from where to where it goes. Interestingly, if some of these wires have already been installed, and I can actually see them here if I go to the partially installed, I can see that some of these components were pre-done, especially here, let's say on the power side or on the tower or some, somewhere like this. This means basically the wire has been installed on one of these objects. In this case here, the power supply, which has indeed a couple of wires already pre-installed. Now, the wire length and the routing is exactly as expected, this is how the wire length was calculated. So the wires could be prefabricated up front. And then if I go check it out, if it actually does fit for this particular one, this is the wire 120. It is the gray uh, wire. Let's see, this is basically in this case here, I have not gray, but white. So this is interesting because I can put a comment out there and say, actually, white and not gray, actually white and not gray. So does that really change anything? I don't think so, right? So I can just basically save that comment and it's fine. Uh, engineering can actually then do the, the, the change. And I can now go and place it on the TB215, which is right there next to the blue one. So here I can just go in, route it as I need very quickly, takes probably less than a minute, and I can just squeeze it in here, go exactly as needed. And this is a push pin, I love those. And you can see the length is exactly what I needed. So I can now confirm that wire. Interesting is that these wires that were prefabricated here, now I can also check out all the other wires. Let's say you wanna do and fabricate blue wires of a certain gauge. Well, you can just go here. You can see we do have the labels. The labels were prefabricated. So I just had them print out through, in this case here, a marking system that I know. And I have on each of these wires exactly the information I need. I have the KG2L3, the A221.4. Those information with the out three do exist on here. Now I just have to cut my wire and do it. Now, even more interesting is, of course, the idea that once we have this, right, uh, we can also buy a wire printer, which means I would not even have to pr create these wires. Now, if you don't have necessarily the, the wire printer in-house, we can actually help you with this service here that where a wire printer is and the wire printer will actually prefabricate the wires we will hand them over to you ship them to you and you know guaranteed quality crimp guaranteed label right on the wires you can see here i have a couple of wires that i actually taped together and very interestingly is that for different wires as you can see here the wire tag is actually printed right on the wire. So depending on what is done in ePlan, you can ask for this wire to be just snipped off like this. So you can put your own ending like a ring terminal or something like that, or you can have a perfect crimp. Now this crimp is just absolutely perfect. Labeled, crimped, cut to the right length. You can see all different lengths ready to be installed and the idea here the performance is of course in the idea of our added value chain retail and e-plan we help you fabricate panels quicker think about it what i really did is i went and i rethought the manufacturing process uh, and not anywhere uh, we are rethinking it where you spend most of your time. 49% of your time, remember, 
is actually done or half of the time is done on the wiring side. Some customers will say four minutes per point, five minute per wire. It, it's a wide range of different um, statements we get there. But for sure, out of that five to eight minutes, three minutes, whatever, there is a significant time that is spent on the fabrication itself because you have to cut, strip, crimp, put the labels on. It just takes time. Whereas the wire landing itself, plug and plug, is really something that goes very, very quickly.